Here's the thing, I absolutely love my Lumix G7. It's the camera I've been taking all the sort of 1080p, 50fps videos with, and it's just a great camera with one issue. There is a huge Lumix logo along the top, so I got some of this, it's like enamel, it's matte black, it's tiny because we don't really need much, and I'm going to paint over the Lumix logo. The actual process is quite simple, I just did a couple of coats separated by about six hours between each coat. So it's right here, let's take a look at it. There is a minor issue with it though, in the sense that it's not completely smooth. I'm not sure how well we're gonna pick this up. It's got like a bit of a rough finish to it. So we're gonna take it to the garage where we have some sandpaper and very, very carefully and very, very finely just sand it down a touch to square it off. But otherwise, this looks awesome. Including the nice little do not touch sign I made for it. Out here in the sun, the imperfections are slightly easier to pick up on. You can see what I mean, like it doesn't look bad. It's just that it looks, it's like not flat. So as you're staring at it straight on, it's not an issue. Um, as you can see here, so here, like this it's fine. It's just up close, it doesn't look perfect, and we want this to look as great as it can. So let's go do this. According to my information, the sandpaper should be right around here. So I'm just gonna go put this down first. Uh, you're gonna have to excuse the mess. Isn't this just beautiful? There is so much that goes on here. There is just stuff everywhere. Let's put this down. Sandpaper, sandpaper, sandpaper. Oh, it's right here. Beautiful. We have, what, what kind of sandpaper is this? Uh, there we are. Multi-use sandpaper, 120 grit. Very fine. Damn fine, am I right? Now the thing is, we don't want to take too much off. The entire intention is to just get that little bit to like smooth it. Oh no! It wasn't fully dry, whoops. Probably should have checked that first. Um, you absolutely do not want to ever get the stuff on your hand. Um, if you do, as I'm about to show, acetone is the best way to get rid of it. Um, damn, I can't believe that was still wet. That had been left there overnight as well. It usually takes about six hours to set, supposedly. So we're gonna go clean my hands and then I'll grab the stuff and paint that layer back on. God damn it. Unfortunately for us, conventional washing doesn't really help. So we need some of this stuff. Acetone or nail polish remover. All you wanna do is take a paper towel or something you don't really mind ruining and then just kind of Rub it onto where you've got all the black stuff, which is really a pain more than anything else. And it will not, I should mention this at this point, it won't get rid of all of it. It will get rid of most of it though. Um, there will be a bit left over, but hey, it happens. And it will go away after a little bit, but it will be temporarily on your fingers as, as you have like lightly black fingers which is always fun isn't it just painted fingers I've got my equipment as we head back a knife to help with the opening of this and then a paintbrush for the painting part it's a small brush and it's wow it's windy bloody hell so um yeah we'll go do this damn I really thought that was ready to sand as well, it looked dry. And um, oh well I guess, squeeze through there, get around here. If you look at it, you can see it's already like, even though it's missing a bunch, like the top layer, it looks a lot better in black than it did in white. So hey. So as I said before, this is very simple. All you wanna do is, whoops, let's straighten that back up. Um, Let's grab this. Make sure to be extremely careful with this stuff. Um, it will just blacken 
anything you put it on. Now we don't want too much, we want sort of a thin coat as opposed to a full relayering. And we are back to square one once more. So you can tell it's wet because it's shiny. Um, see? So um, we're going to leave it here for the rest of the day. It's currently, what time is it? That's a good point. It's uh, just gone free. So we're going to leave it here for the rest of the day. Um, tomorrow morning I'm going to sand this down. I'm actually off tomorrow to um, London. So I want to take this with me. So I'm going to sand it down and go. Uh, or failing that I'm just going to sand it down, fail and then just go with it not completely gone. Either way, we're going with it tomorrow. And there was a G there, which I've um, gone over as well. Good thing I didn't touch that. I'm just going to leave that as it is. And this is my new gorilla pod. How cool is that? Anyway, um, see you guys tomorrow. Or in, for you guys in like two seconds. What is up, guys? So I checked up on it yesterday. It's, it's, it's the next day. Um, it's like half ten. I just woke up. So I checked up on it last night and it was almost there it was still cut slightly like it was the same as it was when we tried to sand it yesterday so i left it overnight let's go take a look and hopefully it looks good strength oh, well, there we are all right let's go see Worst case scenario is it's not done. I just take the camera with me anyway because I need the camera today. So the top layer's dry, the rest of it isn't. Um, God damn it. No, it's just not like fully dry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this to it, take that top layer off. It's mostly there, it's just not, not perfect. But oh well, we're off to London. It's now Monday night. Oh, I say night, what time is it? It's well, like quarter past eight. So like it's it's relatively bright out. Look how cool this is. So what we're going to do is I have the camera here. I never really finished it. I had a really busy weekend. So we're going to go back into there and finish this thing up. We're just going to sand it down and we're going to talk about it a bit because it didn't go badly, but... I think it's worth discussing. If we look at it up close, it looks surprisingly decent, remembering the fact I still need to sand it down. And so this, you can still almost make out the Lumix branding, but it's fine. We're gonna sand it down ever so slightly, and depending on how it looks after that, we'll decide whether or not it needs another coat. I'm just gonna get rid of the little tripod, hot mount, hot shoe mount thing. Okay. Open the flash up so we're not touching that. And grab some sandpaper and just very, very carefully just sand away. I actually found some even finer sandpaper. This one's 180 grade. There you go. This one's even finer. So let's try some of this. So after standing, it actually looks a lot better. And you can see there's still kind of a little bit, but it is mostly nicer. So probably applying one more layer, but let's just talk about the idea in general, because I think this is more or less it. There's something really important to keep in mind, which is that it doesn't look perfect. Like it looks good, but it's not perfect. And if you're a perfectionist, this isn't the kind of modification you'll want to make to your camera. There are people who will want to do this though, and that's people like me, or people like Casey Neistat. I feel like I've been talking about Casey Neistat a lot lately, it's weird. Um, it's be like, it's just, here's the thing. Apple make a lot of money on their name. A lot of people buy iPhones because it has an Apple logo splashed across the front. And it works the other way too, people buy Samsungs because it says Samsung on it. And then every now and again there's a company like OnePlus who just turn up out of nowhere and just have an amazing product 
and that's the kind of thing I want to pursue, the kind of thing that I want to encourage. I don't want to walk around as a giant advert to a different company purely because I like their current product, right? This, this G7, 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 this G7, very good camera. But it doesn't mean I want to be walking around telling everyone, oh yeah, Lumix make the best cameras in the world. And it's the same thing with my phone. I really like the S7 Edge. I really like the Note 7, which was recently announced. It doesn't mean I want to be walking around saying, hey, everyone should buy a Samsung. Everyone should probably buy an Android, but not necessarily a Samsung. And that's what this is about. It's about making it your own as well. It's about being able to say, hey, yeah, this is a product I really like. And if you want to know what it is, come ask me about it. Don't just look at it from a distance and go, oh yeah, that's that pro It's the Lumix camera. Of course, I'm going to buy five of them because I saw that other guy with one. No, 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 that's not the point. The point is this is a really cool product. It shouldn't also be an advertising platform. Well, it kind of should because if you make a bad device then you want people to know about it. But we should be talking about it, not seeing the logo on the top and being like, oh yeah, that has to be bad. So whether or not you do this, it's completely up to you, obviously. And it does kind of diminish the resale value. But if you have genuine belief in a product and you don't want to feel like a roaming advert for said product, this is the tip for you. Just get some matte black paint, paint over a logo, sand it down slightly, and it will feel a bit more personal and it will feel a lot less preachy. Anyway guys, if you like the video, make sure to hit like. It's all been filmed on my phone because the camera I film videos on is right here. So I can't film on this. So this is all done on my phone. So yeah, Samsung. And there's no mic as you might be able to notice. Again, built-in microphone. If you like the video, make sure to click like. If you didn't, I'm not quite sure why you're still here. Maybe you just really want to customize a camera. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys next time.